Hello, my name's Paul with Golden Blaze Videos, and I'm here to review another favorite piece of gear. It's uh, new shoes, La Sportiva Wildcats. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a big Solomon fan, but I um, thought I'd give these a try. And uh, man, they are really comfortable. Um, I've worn Solomon's primarily for past few years, and um, I really like the X-Ultra 3s, but those have been hard to come by. They've come out with the 4s, and since they've had some not so great reviews, I did try a pair of the XA Pro 3Ds and Gore-Tex. Uh, yeah, I did not like those and sent them back. Um, I tried them on an eight mile trail run. And I noticed my calves were really sore. And I was like, well, it's just a different shoe. Maybe it's just my legs. And then I did a 55 mile AT trek over three days and it just destroyed my feet. Uh, my right calf was all tore up and cramped up. And yeah, I'll put up a, um, a quick link showing the photo. <laughs> yeah, I got some really big blisters on the uh, balls of my feet, which had been an issue in the past. And so, yeah, I took those back. I bought them at REI and they gave me a full refund. Thank you, REI. And then I was going to get another pair of the X-Ultra 3s, but they only had like uh, 11s and 12s. They just had a handful left. So I was talking to the salesman there who was very helpful. And um, he said that these uh, La Sportivas are very similar to the um, X-Ultra. Um, the thing about the Wildcat apparently is it's got a real stiff sole and it wasn't uh, giving me much flex. And I kind of thought that was a problem. And uh, the guy at REI kind of confirmed that. But yeah, see these Sportivas, they've got a real good um, flexible midsole. This is... A mountain running shoe, weighs 12.4 ounces. I did go for the non-Gore-Tex version. And um, this particular shoe has a one mesh upper, it's supposed to help keep your feet cool and dry quickly. Um, the, the sole, which from what I've read online, is supposed to last a really long time, um, is a Frixion X-axis rubber sole. And it's supposed to have good braking. And um, the shoe's also known for its great stability and cushioning. It does have a 12 millimeter drop. And I know those ultra fans out there like that zero drop, but um, uh, I prefer, you know, a little bit of a drop like this shoe has. So anyways, um, looks very comfortable so far, trying them on. I like the flexibility. And um, yeah, I'm gonna hit the trail with these and I'll report back later on with uh, my final review. Okay, I'm back from my field test. I did a 25 mile loop over the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. That included about eight miles of AT and almost 6,000 feet elevation gain. And uh, yeah, these are a winner. Very comfortable, very stable, hit all kinds of different trails, um, did some rock scrambling, did a section that had a lot of loose rocks and the shoes did outstanding. And uh, yeah, just super comfortable. I was still nursing that blister, which hadn't completely healed. And uh, yeah, felt great, uh, no problems at all. Hey, I do miss the quick lace system that uh, Solomon has. And I also wish it had a pull strap on the back to help pull them on. But other than that, I would recommend these. Go out and try a pair for yourself. The Wildcats are, um, you know, very comfortable. My new favorite hiking shoe. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you'll stay tuned for some more videos. And I uh, hope to see you on the trail one day. See you soon.